guys, what's up? It's Shelby and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing something a little different. Um, I'm going to be cutting and dyeing my hair. So I'm not cutting a lot. I am just trimming my split ends. I have quite a bit because um, I haven't got my hair cut since I got it dyed like last summer. So it's been a while. Um, so it definitely needs a trim. And I want to dye the ends a bit blue before um, competition competition start for dance which right now would be a good time it's february i have you know have whole month so um yeah i'm going to show you how i do everything so if you are interested keep watching okay so what you're gonna need is a hairbrush obviously scissors a hair tie and two little um like rubber bands so you want to brush through your hair first make sure there is no knots in it and yeah So you're going to want to take um, your first, your little rubber bands and pull your hair back into a like low ponytail and I use two like little rubber bands because my hair is thick. As you can see, I put them into it twice. And then what you're going to want to do is take your hair tie and put it like a little lower and you will lower this later but you just want to have another one in so your hair doesn't get any like bubbles in it and then you're going to take another one of uh, like rubber bands and you're going to put it like lower like really low and then you're going to want to pull it down to as far down as you want to cut your hair. And then I brought the hair tie down just to tighten the bottom part a little bit. And then next you're just going to want to cut it um, right where the rubber band like ends. You're going to want to cut right there. And then once you have it cut, you're going to want to trim all the little edges. Make sure it is straight. And then you can take your rubber band out and fix any other little mistakes that you made. Or like if there's any like strangly hairs left. And then take the rest of the hair ties out. And now time to dye it blue. So I'm using the splat hair dye in blue and I have a glove. I only have one glove, but that's okay. I'm also taking a towel and laying it over the sink that I am working on. So what I'm going to do first is part my hair into two and then I did end up taking my glove off because... I don't know. And then I'm going to pull my hair up into, um, into two parts. So I'm going to take the top part and put that into just like a little mini bun, I guess. And then I just brush through my hair, make sure it is all smooth, and then you can start dyeing. So I just took the cap off of mine and poured some into my hands. And starting at the very bottom of your hair, like, I guess I didn't start at the very bottom, but like towards the bottom, and then work your way up as high as you want it. And um, a good tip is to use most of the product, like, where you want it, and then go, like, a little lower than you want it to be. And then once you get towards the top, um, don't put any more on and just kind of run your fingers through it with what's with whatever is left um, on your hands, and then it'll kind of fade it a little better. So I did the other side off camera, and then I'm going to take my glove off and like unfold it, and then take. The rest of my hair out of the little mini bun and part it the way that I usually, you know, part my hair. And then just do the same thing um, that you did before, like starting from the bottom and making your way towards the top. Um, be careful putting your glove back on because it is dirty. Um, I got blue dye <laughs> like all over my hands, but yeah.
so I just looked through it, make sure it was pretty good. Then I did the other side off camera, and once I'm done with both sides, I like to go back in with a little more on each side just to make sure I got everything and that it's dyed. <laughs> And then once I'm happy with it, I let it sit for 45 minutes. Okay, you guys, it has been 45 minutes, so I'm going to go wash this out. It is already looking pretty blue. My hand is still stained. I washed it once, and it is still blue. And my hands are going to be even more blue after this because I don't have any more um, gloves to wear. So great, right? <laughs> so I'm going to go wash my hair out, and then I will be back to show you. And I'll also show you once it dries because it does look different when it dries. So I will show you me, you know, washing it out. I recommend using a towel that you don't mind ruining or that is the color that you're doing. I luckily have a blue towel, so yes. And um, also what I have learned is if you use a shampoo that is like color resistant, like, I don't know how to explain it. But like, I know Tresemme has one that is like, specifically if you have colored hair, it doesn't um, drain the color out. So I recommend using one of those. If you can get your hands on them and yeah so I just started off by rinsing my hair with um, warm water I got blue dye everywhere again um but I just rinsed it out until there wasn't like a whole lot of blue left in like that was coming out of my hair and then I just went in with my shampoo and conditioner and just put that in and then put my hair up in a towel and let it dry So this is the end result. It is a pretty dark blue, so it kind of matches my hair, but I do usually go over it a second coat the next day. But that is the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see next down below, and I'll see you next time.